folks, Isaac Weiss here. It's the end of Google Summer of Code 2020 and of my project for MuseScore. This will be a lightning tour of the features that I implemented this summer as they will appear to you as a user. So we'll start with multi-measure rests. Here I have a test file containing several multi-measure rests of various durations, and we have some new style settings to show you. We'll just play around and see what they do. You can make that happen, you can do that, that. We can do some pretty remarkable things, actually. Uh, we can max out this setting. And then we can minimize that one. And then we have these black boxes that fill the measures. We can uh, conceal the fact that these are multi-measure rests. If you don't want to see the numbers, move them down into the middle, turn off masking. Now there's no sign that it's multi-measure rest. And if uh, for some sort of non-standard notation you're doing, you need uh, black boxes in four, you can have a uh, single measure empty like this and move these settings, turn, turn these settings like I showed you and then turn this one down to one. And then every single empty measure will show as a black box. That's not something that I'm ever going to need probably, but you never know, some people need the flexibility. All right, let's reset all those settings. And we also have now old style multi-measure rest. Turn this setting on, you'll see that that H bar will turn into a set of symbols uh, that add up to the total duration. You have four measures, so that's two measures and that's one. And uh, ordinarily these will only work for up to nine measures in a row, and then after that it'll switch to using an H bar, but I've given you a setting to override that. Now the 10 measure rest is shown as four plus four plus two. We can change the setting uh, that spaces out the rest symbols. We can make them really widely spaced like that. We can put them really close together like that. And that's it for multi-measure rests. So now let's move on to measure repeats. Um, here we have a bunch of one measure repeats and you can see right off the bat there's a new setting that enables you to automatically number them. And let's take a look at the style controls for this. Um, of course, you can turn the numbers on and off. And you can choose the interval. So in this case, it's every four measures, but you might want to have every fifth measure numbered, or maybe every eighth. Or you could go all the way down and have every single uh, number in the sequence appear. You can also choose with or without parentheses. Or uh, you can turn off the sequence numbering, then you'll be able to turn on a, a numeral one on every single one of them. And that would, of course, be used if you wanted to make it appear similar to the two measure repeats or the four measure repeat. These are new. Um, two measure repeats like, looks like that. Four measure repeat looks like that. You'll notice that there's a uh, a layout element here. This uh, groups these measures together, prevents you from having the end of a line occur uh, awkwardly in the middle of the group. Um, and these uh, elements are available in the breaks and spacers palette, and you can put them wherever you like. Um, I'm going to switch these numbers back to uh, the series in order to more sh show you more clearly. If for whatever reason you do not want to allow measure, eight, measure 18 and measure 19 to get separated. Put this thing right there. They stay together. There's 18 and 19. And one last thing I want to show you, the two measure and four measure repeats in a more interesting context. Um, this is a rather contrived example. Uh, you don't want to put this in front of a musician. Please do not put this in front of a musician because their eyes will cross. Uh, this is much too complicated, but it works really well to demonstrate your score's playback. Um, as you see the playhead move along, you'll also see uh, the notes that are highlighted in blue will be the ones playing, and those may be in different places in the top staff and bottom staff. You, you might want to watch two or three times this next section in order to see exactly how it works. So here we go.
that's it. Beautiful, huh? So, thank you very much for watching. It's been a great summer. Hopefully, you'll be able to see all of these features when New Score 4.0 is released, whenever that may be. Thanks, and goodbye.